Hey guys, this is uh, Dina Kilman. I am the uh, Director of Engagement for the Arts Central Chesapeake Region, and this is our first virtual Cup of Caring for 2020. I uh, want to welcome everyone and give us our agenda. Um, we are going to talk about back to school strategies for children with disabilities. We have an ARC at School program we would like to uh, introduce to you guys. And also, we are going to uh, discuss a couple things from RQS and the Maryland State Department of Education on some uh, tips for um, and uh, training for uh, people that are supporting students in the special education system, um, not necessarily just parents. So I welcome you, and um, here we go. Uh, first, I wanted to start out with a conversation about the ARC at School. Um, it is a wonderful program that helps parents and people supporting students with disabilities be advocates for their own child um, or for the child they are supporting. Um, we are currently uh, offering this instruction through the ARC uh, of the United States. It is all virtual. There are eight modules that you will learn about um, how to read an IEP, um, the history of the American with Disabilities Act, and things like that that will help you understand your rights and responsibilities as a parent and how to better partner uh, with your school system uh, in order for your child to get everything they need um, out, of that, out of that school system and afford their uh, educational goals. We um, are proud this year to have a sponsor, Optimal Health uh, Incorporated, who is uh, paying the uh, fees for the parents to take this training for free in fall 2020. Um, we're happy to say we are full. Um, we have 15 families registered, and uh, Optimal, again, is paying for all those families. We uh, will be starting a wait list. Actually, we have started a wait list for the spring cohort, so please don't um, uh, feel like you're being give us a call or email me at resources at the arc, cccr.org, if you are interested in uh, getting on board for the spring. Um, no further ado, we'll go to our agenda. Um, we've got some virtual back to school tips for children with disabilities. And I'm gonna go ahead and just share these on um, uh, our website probably or probably actually with our newsletter that's going to come out uh, September 8th to the families. So if you're interested in getting our monthly newsletter, the Family Connector, you can also uh, email me again at resources at the arcccr.org. So that's three C's in there, T-H-E-A-R-C-C-C-R.org. Um, so the virtual tips for families um, are really great. Um, they're really simple, um, but uh, once you read them, they start to make a lot of sense. Um, whereas if you are not thinking this way, it can be very frustrating. Uh, but the tips are just simple common sense. Um, first, remember that your role is, is a parental one. Uh, at first, you know, you are concerned about the structure of the school and what will my kid learn and what will happen. And what you have to remember is you are also their primary source of uh, love and care and all that sort of thing too. So while the school agenda is important, uh, remember that they are looking to you for compassion and for love and you're gonna go through this together. So just keep that at the top of your list. Number two, um, set up a space in your home that you will always uh, have for children with disabilities in particular. Um, they, it is better for all kids, I used to teach preschool, to have a routine. Um, but particularly with kids with disabilities, it can be comforting to have a, a routine and in the same space every day when you get started with that work establish a schedule and a comfortable space. So we kind of covered both of those things at once, but you do want to make sure you're going to the same place in your home and you have the same thing sitting there. All their supplies are ready and you're going at the same time of day. That will be helpful in establishing or relieving the anxiety they feel um, for the entire program that you're going to do at school. And uh, you will take away that fear uh, that something is happening that they don't understand. Make it a comforting 
carefully considered space, not too much things, just enough for their school and a uh, few distractions, um, but a comfortable space for them to be ready to learn. Um, allow breaks. Um, one of the things we talked about <laughs> in preschool a lot is how many breaks do little kids need? Typically, it's a lot more than you think. Um, their tasks uh, are limited to, you know, that 15 to 20 minute time span. And in school, sometimes even they don't accommodate for that. But at the home, you can certainly take a break whenever your kid needs it. So be prepared to do that. Um, have some activities maybe for them to do that or let them go outside or talk about something they want to talk about for a few minutes before you get back to school. And that will help them feel comfortable and keep them on task when they're supposed to be on task. Um, allow socialization. Um, virtual schooling is going to be tough, so make sure that they are tagging in with their friends if they can on Zoom or on their phone, or um, if it's safe uh, for your child to go to a park sometimes and maybe discuss some of the things that you're learning in school. Those are uh, great suggestions to make sure they're keeping up with their social life and their social development. Um, create support networks. This is so important. And um, Facebook has tons of family support groups. You can email me and I can find some for you. Um, or you can find them yourself just by, you know, Googling your school system and your parents in your area and figuring out where they all are. But since COVID, um, uh, we have noticed a huge uptick in the parent groups and the activity online. So you want to make sure you tag in there and um, you can certainly, some of those connections can become offline connections once you meet those parents. Um, provide time away from screens. That's a great one. Um, obviously, some of this virtual schooling is going to be online, but um, once you've gotten instruction from the teacher or the, um, you know, you know what the plan is for the day, try to get away from that uh, screen because kids really learn better by doing. They learn better by moving. Um, uh, sitting in front of a screen is going to be pretty tough for any kid, plus a child maybe that's uncomfortable. Um, you know, maybe they have um, some movement that they need to, you know, they need to be moving. Maybe that helps them feel more comfortable in their space. Um, you need to get allow for that. So get them off those screens as soon as you get that appropriate instruction and, and you've logged in and um, the teacher knows you're there and um, you are ready to go do the work. Um, ask for help. This is an interesting one. So um, there's a lot of help out there from other parents. There's a lot of help from uh, hopefully groups like the ARC in your neighborhood or our ARC covers um, Anne Arundel County as well as the Eastern Shore. And uh, we have some support if you need it or we can help you find support in your community. So uh, always just give us a call and uh, look for the other people in your community that are helping. There are, are a lot of groups who have established some on and offline support groups that have uh, popped up during COVID. So just even if you didn't know it was there before or you didn't need it before, um, ask around, um, call your school system, you know, call your friends, get on Facebook. Uh, there are a lot of support groups out there. So uh, we want to make sure that um, you find them. Um, my favorite one, I guess, is to be patient with yourself and with your child. Um, you have to make sure that whatever you are doing is at the the ultimate goal is is success and they get through that agenda but but you want to make sure that they trust you and they're comfortable and that at the end of this you guys are still friends and you're still getting along and you're learning together and you're you're loving each other and being patient and kind with each other it's very important and uh, it will help the emotional well-being of the child which always is going to make for a better student. So just be patient with each other. You'll get through it. Uh, we all will. And be aware that uh, many of the parents I speak with are having the same struggles as, as you are. You're not alone. Um, so I've got a couple of resource tips and sheets that I can share if anyone would like to email me. Uh, the ARC of the United States just put out a wonderful uh, uh, tips on advocating for students with disabilities during COVID-19. Uh, that's a fact sheet. Got one, uh, the one I just went over was actually from the Florida Inclusion Network on tips for virtual school. 
And then also there's a Maryland Special Educators Guide that has a lots of info about um, things you can uh, do to, to work with the Maryland education system and to understand their processes. So um, that is online and I can share that info with you as well. So thanks. Thanks for coming to our first Cup of Caring. And uh, we will be, uh, there's a schedule online on our ARC website. I will post it on our social media as well. We are on Facebook, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, and uh, Instagram. And uh, of course, you can always email us. You can um, find us online and the schedule for Cup of Caring is online. Our next one will be tonight at 6 p.m. And then it'll be on the first Tuesday of every month. Um, the October uh, topic is transitioning youth. We will have our um, one of our workforce directors here, Laura Degler, to talk about tips your child can use um, if they're in that high school year and they are looking to transition to a career um, out in the workforce and in your community. She has lots of great tips and tons of experience and can talk to you about that. So thanks for coming and we hope to see you next time here at Cup Caring. If you have questions that you would like answered, uh, we will keep them completely anonymous. You can email me at resources at the arpccr.org and we can share those questions online. Thank you so much.